Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over the HX35 performance kit for your OM606 inside of a W210. So first of all, I'm gonna explain all the stuff that needs to be removed. The obvious is your old stock turbo. So your turbo is gonna sit right here. First, you wanna remove the three bolts on the back of this triangular flange. Once you've done that, um, you'll want to remove the stock downpipe, which is held on by this clamp. And the other end looks like this. And so the easiest thing to do is get a vice grip on this side and another pair of vice grips on this side to pinch it down and then push these out on both sides and that will loosen it. Next one, while you're already over there, is you need to remove the oil feed line, which just has a 17 millimeter on this side, and it's right there on the block. So you remove that, and then this is on the top of the turbo, so it goes like so. Remove that as well. Next is the drain, which is right there. It's held in place by two Allen bolts I believe they're five millimeter so you'll remove those and next is the charge pipe which is just held on by those clamps and this rubber piece so you will remove those and lastly is right here you'll have the uh, air filter line and pipe going to the front of the turbo so the easiest way to remove that is just to unclamp it once again right here then it will have the hose and it will also have the CCV hose that comes out right here, you just remove that, um, pull this out from right here, it just slides right out. And the air filter box is held in place by just rubber grommets and it just pops up. There's nothing that needs to be unscrewed from my memory. And it will have a pipe that comes up here and goes into that and that also you just wiggle your way out. So pretty easy to do. Um, and that'll get everything out of the way. So next we'll go over what's included in the kit. So to start off with, we have the air filter. And here are, this is a extension pipe that you can use for it. And I'll show you a little bit later what that, different options that it can be used. Um, this is gonna go on the front of the turbo because it's a four inch on the whole set. And this pipe is a three inch. So that's how you adapt those. And your kit will come with a smaller rubber one, which you won't use, but you will use the clamps that come with it. Um, this is the boost pipe. Notice it's an offset and it's also a different size. Very important. Here we have our hardware to mount on the T3 on this side with those four. And here we have three smaller ones for the triangular side over there. Here's our downpipe, which has the original clamp so that it will just go right on in its place. And this is designed obviously for the different turbo and the whole set. This right here is a compressor outlet. So it'll go on the outlet of the turbo into here. Well, sorry, on the bottom side. This side goes on to the boost pipe of the Mercedes. This is your clamp for your downpipe and here we have all of our oil feed fittings so we'll start off with the drain you're gonna need your original drain from the original turbo all you need to do is cut off the very tip right here underneath this so either get an angle grinder or a saw whatever you want to do and just cut that off and this is gonna go in here like that. You'll use one of those clamps to fasten it on there. And then on the bottom of the turbo, we have this fitting, which is gonna go into the other side. And this has your bolts right there to screw on. It's pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have the oil feed side of things. This with, notice one side is a lot bigger than the other. This side goes into the block and this side goes into your oil line. Um, I had it set up to do this, just go into the straight side. And so it's gonna point out and then come around and come up. And then this angled side is gonna go 
down into your turbo and I'll show you what that looks like. But some people said that they wish that it had an elbow on the block. So I include the elbow as well. If you wanted to do that, then you'd have an elbow on both sides and you could do whichever one you like. Here we have the feed for the turbo. So this is just going to screw in um, like so, and this side goes into the turbo. And I'll start mounting things up so you can see what it looks like step by step. So here you can see we have manifold adapter in place, pretty simple. Um, you don't want to tighten any of these bolts, you just want them hand tight because you need to be able to kind of move it into place to get everything to line up properly. Um, next we're going to put on the turbo. So here it is, this is the HX35. Sorry, I didn't want to focus there. It's kind of hard with the focus. Anyways, the whole set, HX35, and it's an eight centimeter. You can tell by the number eight in the housing. And when, you, when it arrives, it's not gonna be clocked or oriented or rotated properly. So all you need to do is on the exhaust side is there's these bolts right here um, and you just need to loosen them. I believe it's 13 millimeter and there are four of them. So you're just gonna loosen them. And what that does is it allows you to rotate. It's gonna rotate the compressor side along with the core which is fine because it ends up lining, aligning properly. We want the core, once it's mounted to the engine, to be as vertical as possible. And I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and put the flange, the T3 flange over here, onto there. And one thing that needs to be noted is right here, I think I forgot to mention, um, there's a heat shield. And so it's something like this and you just need to remove that heat shield that has two 10 millimeters. But then this, you need to have your angle grinder handy to cut this off. It won't affect performance anyways. All it is is a mount for the heat shield. So just remove that to get it out of the way. Okay, so when you have the turbo mounted, it's gonna be like this. Um, this is why the air box needs to be removed because the wastegate is in the way. I wish it could be left in place, but I've tried, tried and tried. And it just, there's no way around it. Um, but here you go, you can see that one doesn't have a bolt, that one does. I just did it to where you could see how it's fitted on there. Um, next, we're gonna work on the oil feed lines. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. On this end, you have a block fitting, which is black, the elbow, which is red, and the line. Over here, you have your elbow, and then the feed that goes into the turbo. Okay, so here we have the, the line on there. You can see it's into the block with the elbow. Um, for this video, I did it pointing forward. And then just over here, um, you can orient it however you want. Some people like to put it away and then come up this way or just use the straight. You just need to make sure that it's not making contact with like the exhaust manifold, the downpipe or anything that's gonna be too hot and melt it. Um, so even this right here, we want to get it away from that, something like that. And then, uh, yeah. Next, we'll do the downpipe. So there we go, here's our downpipe clamped on. Pretty self-explanatory. And then down here, you're gonna to want to put it on the same way. Um, you want to get, so this goes up in here like that. And your clamps go on, you put one on, put the vice grips on the other side, put it on. Um, it is kind of hard to get on to get it right, but uh, it works. You just need some good vice grips and, and a pair of them. So uh, yeah, you can see the oil line is free that way. Everything lines up. So next we're going to start on the... So next you're just going to... Like I said earlier, cut that off, slide it in. And this hose, you're gonna cut it down to size. It's it's too big the way it is. So you just snip off what you need, clamp that on, put this back on the bottom of the, the block. Use this, it goes 
on the bottom down here, like so. Um, put the clamps on both ends and your feed will be good. Now we're gonna work on this. Um, for this video, it's not going to line up because I haven't removed the part that I said you need to grind off. You can see it hits on that. That's why I need to remove it. But you just uh, cut that off. And then you can see the orientation is a little off, but uh, it works. I'll show you, I probably should have put on the this clamp before, the outlet. So the outlet is composed of a ring, which sits like that. And then this is the clamp, it just goes on right there. And then you're going to use Sorry guys, this is a, not the best video, but one had it. So that goes on like that. And then the other end is gonna go on, sorry, the boost pipe right there. So that's that. And lastly is gonna be your oil filter, or sorry, air filter. So you're gonna put the coupling on right there and uh, you have a couple options. What you could do if you wanted was just cut a piece of this material if you just wanted, you know, like two inches. If you wanted to put your air filter right here, just a straight shot. That's one option. Um, the other option would be, this is why I like this, because it has this hose and that kind of takes care of the CCV. Um, so you can put this like this and get it away. I'll just show it like this for the video. And then this clamps on right there. Um, obviously you can't close the hood that way, but I just wanted to show you the different options. Um, maybe I can get it to work here for the video. Yeah, so you could put it down like that. Have your filter over there, cut this off. You know, you, you just have several options. It's kind of a, universal fit to where you can put it on however you like and then this right here is for the ccv so this hose is just gonna go inside like so you just fit it in until it's snug and then this goes on right there and that way you have that taken care of or you can just have this vent to atmosphere or you can get a catch can whatever you would like and uh fuel filter would air filter sorry would go over there so that is pretty much it that's everything that's included in the kit um, I have everything loose you know just for purposes of the video it's obviously gonna look a whole lot better once it's installed on your own engine you have things tightened up the way that you want them um, but that is basically it some people have asked about the math sensor you just leave it unplugged. You don't have to do anything. It's deleted in Sean Tracy's tune. And the way to install the computer is up here. This box is where it is. There's just regular Phillips head screws all around this plastic cover. Um, you're going to remove it. And it's going to sit up here. And it goes on with this. Um... Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this slides forward and back, so you just slide it back and then it comes off. And you're gonna have to remove the transmission controller with it. So you'll just remove it, they come out as one piece. Once you're out here, you unscrew the transmission controller, screw it onto your new tuned stage two ECU, and pop them both back in, put on the cover. And that's that. Um, for first startup, being that this is a new turbo, they come pre-lubed but it's always a good idea to make sure you get it lubed before you, you use it. So you can do that either by just pouring some motor oil in right here. And the other way, which I think is easier, is to start the car without the glow plug. So you know how usually you put the key in, you turn it, and you wait for the light to go off on your dashboard? Just put the key in and turn it right away so it'll crank for a while, like a dry crank. It's not gonna start because the glow plugs haven't been warm for long enough and that'll give it a chance to get oil all through the system and oil it before the action, the engine actually starts and you have exhaust gases which are, which are gonna turn the turbine. 
So that's that. Hopefully this video makes sense. Sorry it was a little bit long, but it's hard to do this one-handed. I just want you to get a general idea of all the components and how it's all set up. Thank you very much.